before we begin our application, let's make sure we have everything we need. Starting with enough floor color to do the project. Floor color comes in one gallon and five gallon units. We're also going to need some calibrated containers for measuring the water, a mixing container, and some stir sticks to mix the material. Power mixing is not required. We also need to make sure we have proper safety equipment, including latex gloves, a respirator or particle mask, and a pair of safety glasses. Now let's check our application equipment. For this application, we'll be using an HVLP sprayer. That stands for high volume, low pressure. We also want to make sure we have some masking materials available for adjacent areas and wall lines. We're now ready to begin our application. Prepare the surface by going through your normal grinding procedures. We recommend stopping at a 200 grit resin in order to do your layout and your scoring. Once your scoring and layout has been completed, process the floor to a 400 grit finish. This will prepare the surface to accept the floor color. Be sure the surface has been cleaned thoroughly before applying the floor color. Mixing the floor color litho dye is simple. Start by shaking the container well. We've already placed half the water in the mixing container, keeping half the water available to clean out the bottle. Start by dumping the contents of the dye into the mixing container. Now we'll use some of the remaining water to rinse the dye container out. Now that we have all the color into the mixing container, we can add the balance of the water. We now have a full gallon of water in the mixing container with the litho dye. Now we just need to stir the container and the product is ready to use. No power mixing is required. Place your floor color in the plastic containers for the application. Be sure that you have some plastic down or a safety mat to prevent any accidental spills or coloring on the surface. For this application, we're using foam brushes. This type of brush allows for a nice even flow of the color while still giving us pinpoint control at the corners and edges. Because this area has been scored, we have lines to help separate the color. This makes the application a little more forgiving. We still need to apply the color carefully to prevent any unwanted mixing of the colors on the edges. Applying the floor color by hand prevents us from having the mask off adjacent areas as we go. This will help speed up our application. It's a good practice to have one person responsible for one color. This will help to prevent mistakes or confusion during the color application. Having a color map or legend for the colors will help during the application to get the right color in the right place, particularly if you have two or more persons working on the project together. Continue working through the design from the center out to the edges until all of the areas have been colored. When working on bigger areas, it will be quicker to spray apply the material. Ready the area by masking all of the adjacent edges to prevent overspray. 
Here we are using an HVLP sprayer, like the one we showed earlier. Adjust the controls on the sprayer to deliver a smooth, even flow of material. You can test the sprayer on your masking near an edge. Your coverage rate with the spray application should fall between 400 to 500 square feet per gallon. Continue working the design until all of the areas have received the color application. Be sure to allow your material to dry completely before continuing with any additional processes, like densifying or polishing. Typically the material must be allowed one to two hours of dry time depending on the ambient temperature and the substrate you're coloring. After the surface is dried completely and any additional process has been completed, we will run our next grid of polishing resins over the surface. This is a crucial step and must be done any time floor color has been applied. This will remove any residual material left on the surface during the application. This will also remove any smears or runs in the color from the densifier application. After the surface has been processed, we are ready to apply our floor finish lithium impregnating guard. Be sure to watch our video on the floor finish application for the proper steps. The surface should be burnished before and after the floor finish application. You can find our floor finish video on the Diamatic website or you can visit our YouTube channel.